Good afternoon. I want to thank you all for being here today. I'm here near the site of the Bighorn Fire, where I just received a briefing from the U.S. Forest Service and Department of Forestry and Fire Management about the ongoing efforts to contain the blaze and protect the surrounding communities here. Every wildfire season in Arizona is serious, and this year is no different. 2020 has brought heightened wildfire activity, as well as the added challenge of keeping crews and responders healthy as we continue to work to contain the spread of COVID-19. Right now, our crews are battling the Bighorn Fire, the Bush Fire, the Magnum Fire, um, Mangum Fire, Dry Lake, Blue River, and Burnham, and more. And they've done an excellent job rising to the occasion and meeting this challenge that this year and this fire season has presented. I want to begin by thanking the more than 2,000 brave women and men who are working around the clock to battle wildfires in Arizona, including over 900 right now that are working on the Bighorn Fire. This is incredibly dangerous work in hot and extreme conditions, and those battling these wildfires remain in our constant prayers. My thanks also go out to the volunteers at the Red Cross who have been providing aid to those in need around this fire, along with shelter for over 100 people around the Bush Fire. Arizona is incredibly grateful for their work. In addition to everyone at the Department of Forestry and Fire Management and our federal partners, I want to extend my thanks to our local cooperators, Golder Ranch Fire District, Oracle Fire District, Mount Lemmon Fire District, and the Pima County Office of Emergency Management. And I also want to recognize Arizona's ongoing efforts are not limited to the Department of Forestry and Fire. Currently, we have six inmate crews deployed around the state from the Department of Corrections, Rehabilitation, and Reentry. And four of them are fighting this fire right here at Bighorn. These fully trained and talented Type 2 crews are a vital resource to Arizona. And they're a heroic example of how we're collaborating across state agencies to protect lives, pets, and property. Next, I want to take a moment to remind everyone that we all have a role to play in staying safe and preventing wildfires. First, if you live near Bighorn or any active fire, please stay alert and follow any evacuation orders if and when they are issued. Your safety and your life could depend on it. And to all Arizonans, a reminder, while this fire was lightning caused, some of our largest fires, like the Bush Fire, are human caused. We need everyone to do their part by taking these simple steps to prevent wildfires. First, please follow fire restrictions. Most of Arizona is under type two fire restrictions. So if you're headed outside to enjoy our great state, remember that at this time, campfires are prohibited. In addition, if you're headed out to the forest or lake, never let chains drag behind your vehicles. It only takes one spark to ignite a wildfire and we see it happen all too often. And lastly, please do not fly drones around wildfires. It's illegal and it's dangerous because it interferes with air support operations and it puts lives at risk. Working together, we can prevent these wildfires. And I wanna thank the people of Arizona for their commitment, their cooperation, and their ongoing vigilance on this and other issues right now in our state. And with that, I wanna hand it over to Steve Millard with the Department of Forestry and Fire Management for an update. Steve. Well, thank you, Governor. I wanna start with saying thank you for your support and leadership as we continue through fire season 2020. Um, want to provide just a brief overview of the incidents that are going on in the state right now. 
on the Kaibab National Forest. We had the Magnum incident. Um, it's under investigation for the cause. Um, it's managed by a Type 2 incident management team. It's located about 30 miles southeast of Fedonia. Uh, we have about six, a little over 600 people there. It's about 68,000 acres and 28% contained. Um, as we move forward down the state, uh, the Bush incident is a uh, little over 186,000 acres, 42% contained, and that fire right now is being determined human caused, and that's managed by a type one incident management team. Um, currently, uh, they have over 700 people fighting that fire. The next one I wanna move over to is uh, the central fire. It is also managed by a type one incident management team. Um, it is also looking at a human cause incident started on the 20th of June near New River. Um, that one we were looking at about 190 people on it, a little over 4,500 acres with 0% containment. Um, the other one is the Brigham Fire um, that is on the Apache Sick Graves National Forest and it is uh, currently right around 19,000 acres with around 300 people on it and 20% containment. And as we come down the state, that brings us to here to the Bighorn incident. So the Bighorn incident is managed by a type one incident management team. Um, it started on June 5th, um, about 10 p.m. It was a lightning cause incident. Um, right now, we're looking around now a little over 900 people, uh, 52,000 plus acres and 16% containment. And that's just, I said, a kind of a general overview of the large incidents going across the state. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Keep up the great work. Next, we want to hear from Kerwin Dewberry, a supervisor of the Coronado National Forest. Kerwin. Thank you, Governor. Thank you so much. Well, good afternoon. I just want to talk about the relationships associated with this fire. Fires, wildfires happen every year in the state of Arizona. So it's not about if they will happen, it's when we will happen. And based on the relationships that we have, the work that happens before fire season that goes into the prep, the discussions, where relationships are developed way before, where we're not passing out business cards in the middle of an incident, that has paid off because of of the pre-work, this fire has been successful because of that pre-work. And I also want to just congratulate those that have been prepared for the community of Summerhaven, Mount Lemon. They have prepared themselves way before. I can't speak enough about having your communities fire-wise ready for fires to happen. The prep work that goes into that, the thinning, the restoration work. I'm so grateful for all the relationships that we have. We have over 80 cooperators that has been a part of this fire in some aspect or another. Whether it's been in the uh, realm of just sharing public information or giving us thank yous. We have been successful all because of the communities of Pima County and Pinal County. And I'm grateful for that as well. So with that, I'll just pass it back over to the governor. Thank you and keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Kerwin. Really appreciate your effort out, out here. And uh, now we're going to ask uh, Sheriff Mark Napier to provide a quick update uh, on evacuations associated with this fire. Sheriff Napier. Thank you, Governor. Uh, we have had, as, as Kerwin said, uh, just amazing cooperation. And uh, these relationships cannot be built when you need them. They have to already exist. And I am so very proud of the people of Pima County and, and more proud today than ever to be the sheriff of this county when such tragic things and such demanding incidents come on our radar screen that we can come together and do the things that we need to do. You know, we talk about ready, set, go. All the current evacuations that are in the go mode remain in the go mode. Uh, so nothing has changed about our evacuation posture. So please heed those evacuation notices because if you're in a go area, and we ask you to evacuate and you refuse to do so, we may not be able to come back in and save you. Uh, so please heed the evacuation warnings. Uh, my deputies are out trying to be as courteous and respectful in giving these evacuation notices as possible. But I am so pleased with the efforts of the Forest Service, 
um, the, the fire officials. Uh, this is absolutely amazing work. I'm so very proud of them and the partnership and the communication that we have enjoyed uh, over the last two weeks is a testament to those relationships that have been built over a period of years. So Kerwin and your whole team, thank you very much. Uh, the, the Type 1 team, you guys have been amazing to work with. I thank you for the communication, the cooperation, and all the hard work to save the structures on Mount Lemmon and up in the Golder Ranch area it has just been amazing work. And fortunately, we've had no loss of life and no loss of structures. And I'd be remiss if I did not acknowledge our governor and his uh, presence down here in Southern Arizona once again to show his support and his appreciation of what's going on here in Southern Arizona. And I'm so appreciative of the relationship that the governor and I have and his continued support of Southern Arizona. So please, folks, if you're in an evacuation area, heed that evacuation. And as the governor said, no drones in the area, please. And avoid the uh, tendency to looky-loo because you simply get in the way of the fire equipment that needs to be there. So thank you to Pima County for everything that you're doing and to all of us involved in this. Uh, we'll win this fire and, and we will uh, prevail. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Sheriff, and thanks for all the good work you do to protect the hardworking women and men of Pima County. And like I said, if you don't want to unexpectedly meet the Sheriff, don't fly a drone around this fire. I want to thank all, all of the leadership uh, and the incident commander. I want to thank Director Tenney for the good work that he's doing and help coordinate the effort. Uh, and I'd be remiss if I uh, didn't mention before I open it up for questions that not only can we avoid wildfires in Arizona, you can avoid the contraction of COVID-19. So please remember to continue to physically distance, wash your hands, wear your masks when you can't physically distance, and if you're sick, please stay home.